do you make of these comments? Well, I'm not surprised. I think the thing is, Skip, is that Goran Dragic spent his last seven years in, in, in Miami. And we know when people talk about the Miami Heat, what do they talk about? Heat culture. We know one thing. It's, team, it's heavy team emphasis first. And that team has had some superstars within it. You had a Shaq, you had a LeBron, you had a D Wade, you had a Chris Bosch. Now you have Jimmy Butler. So he's been around, now he wasn't there with Shaq, but he's been around Jimmy Butler. He's been in this organization and he's seen how an uh, organization that's team centric first, no matter the stars, it's all about the team. He's seen how those, that team operates. He goes to Brooklyn. They have superstars. They have star, superstar, however you want to uh, define the term. Kevin Durant is a superstar. Whether or not you believe Kyrie Irving is a superstar, that's a discussion for another topic or another day. And he says, hold on, wait a minute. We understand that you guys are superstars, but what about the team? Mm. What about doing in the best interest of the team? What about all of a sudden it's not about your stat? It's not about you getting 30. It's not about you getting 25 shots. It's not about this. What about winning? And it seems to me is that he didn't see that. And it's like, wow. And it seems to me that the Nets and Ky the Nets turned the keys over to uh, the car to KD and Kyrie, and they didn't use them in a responsible manner to create a winning environment. And this is why Kevin Durant does not like being a leader, because for the longest time, not being a leader has allowed him to escape responsibility of things that transpired. We know he signed off on the James Harden trade. We know he signed off on the Steve Nash becoming the head coach. We know all the moves, the LaMarcus Aldridge, the Blake Griffin, the Patty Mills, all that he signed off on. But somehow it gets shoved to the foot of Kyrie because Kyrie didn't get the vaccine mandate. So everything that happened within that organization that, uh, that was negative somehow get placed at Kyrie's feet. Same thing that happened in OKC. Everything that happened negative in OKC got placed at Russ's feet. Somehow Kevin Durant for the longest time because Kevin Durant got more fanboys in the media than he, than he would like for you to realize, mm. he escapes criticism. This is what we've seen in a, in a, a team-centric situation where, where, where the, uh, uh, the hierarchy is already established. Kevin Durant's fine. If we heard none of this at Golden State because it was already established. But when we go to the Brooklyn Nets, we hear this in drawing Goran Dragic I don't think he has an axe to grind. I don't think he's a guy that's bitter or he's upset about anything. I think he's speaking from a point of this is what I saw in my short tenure. Now, people go try to blow it up. Bro, you was only there for three months. Yeah, and I saw this in three months. Can you imagine what it was like for two years, for three years? Mm. You're absolutely correct. I was there for a short period of time, but what I observed in that short period of time is something that is not beneficial for team success. You can have individual success in which both of these guys have. One averaged 29.9, 30. The other averaged 27. Had career high. Uh, uh, Kyrie had career highs. But at the end of the day, what did that get him? And so for me, Skip, I'm just trying to uh, try the, the difference between LeBron and KD is that there's no question that LeBron is a leader. And when things go wrong, he accepts the, the, the blame is going to get placed on him, fairly or unfairly. What Kevin Durant tries to do is says, well, I don't want to be a leader. And he wants to orchestrate things from the back. So therefore, when it doesn't go wrong, he escapes criticism. But we know the likelihood of something transpiring in that organization, be a player coming or going, be a coach coming or going, it has Kevin Durant thumbprint on it. You know that, I know that. But for some reason, over the course of 14 seasons, he's been, he's been able to escape criticism when things don't go right in the organization where other players haven't been able to do that. So I am not surprised. Well, I am surprised because this is the first time that we've heard something like this, but Goran Dragic should not be dismissed. I don't believe he has an axe to grind. I don't believe he, he, uh, he's making this up. I think he's, from what he observed in the month, two months he was there, wasn't beneficial for team success, but it was beneficial for individual success, and he spoke to that. Mm. Okay, I just let you go on and on and on and on and on. Now it is my turn. The floor is now mine, and I got a whole lot to say about everything you just said, starting with Goran Dragic, and I agree with only one point you made, no ax to grind. He's 36 years of age. He's been around this block many times. I have the highest regard 
for his basketball IQ and his basketball character. And once upon a time, a long, long time ago, Goran Dragic shot my Spurs right out of the playoffs in a sweep by the Phoenix Suns. They got swept because he was out of his mind making every three he dared to look at. Okay. So I'm going to reread the quote from Gorn. He was speaking to a Slovenian newspaper, so it's translated, but I'm sure it's right on the button. Right. I played with some stars like Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, and I have to admit that it was quite difficult because the focus was not on the team, but more the individual performances of the individuals. Mm I'm sorry, I'm going to have to say that I first guessed this again and again and again. I came and sat in this seat again and again and again throughout the whole year, and I said, I got to tell you, they're hard to watch because they play ISO ball like no team has ever played ISO ball, and I began to wonder, what does Steve Nash exactly do? Because, as Kyrie said, we don't need a coach, and they, they were not listening to anything, anything that Steve Nash or Sean Marks or any of the assistants had to say about what happened on the basketball floor because it was pickup game featuring two on five. It was the, the all-time iso ball. Your turn, my turn. I haven't seen anything like it since Kevin played with Russell Westbrook back in his OKC days when I, I would just cringe and close my eyes because your turn or my turn. Kevin would just stand over on the wing in Oklahoma City for eight straight years with his hand up like, Want to flip it over here to me? Never ran a play to get him open. Nobody runs any plays to get anybody open. You just, you go over on the right side or flip it to me over here and I'll try to go here on the left side, one on two, and see if I can get a shot. And obviously, the Boston Celtics, featuring a, a former Spur assistant who I thought should have been a head coach about 10 years ago, Ime Udoka, finally just said, we have a really good defensive team. I think you called it the best defensive team in basketball. So in the first round, they just said, look, the head of the snake is KD. It's not Kyrie. It's KD. Let's attack him with two or three players every time down the floor because they don't run any plays to get him open. It's just going to be one on three. And let's see if he can cope with that. And he couldn't. And the biggest reason he couldn't is what you kept saying all year about Kyrie Irving. You said they're all sick and tired of his bull jive. Well, he tore that team apart. Kevin stepped on the floor for the first round of the playoffs and looked like his heart was never in any of those games. And he still averaged, what was it, 26, 6, and 6, which is not totally embarrassing. But I thought he was a shell of himself and he got shut down in the biggest moments. Four straight times. And I started calling him Kevin Ducant. All of which, all of which is why Kevin Durant wants out of Brooklyn. It's why he demanded a trade. Because he doesn't want to play anymore with Kyrie Irving and all of, to use your word, bull jive. Starting with, I'm not going to get vaccinated and I'm going to tear my team apart. And he doesn't like to play in this system because there is no system. What if KD is part of the problem? Well, he, he is uh, all he did this year, <laughs> just to remind somebody, do, do you know what he did this year in 55 games? If he had been able to play 75 games, he would have run away with the MVP because he was extraordinary. He averaged 37 and six this year and a career high 91 percent from the free throw line. Eat your heart out, LeBron, if you're watching right now. Ninety one percent skill. But, oh, okay, I'll okay just... now, I told you it's my turn, and I'm going to finish this off. I'm going to nuke your argument. Because what did Kevin Durant prove to everybody? He left his little... Skip, does not go to state? Talk about Brooklyn. Stop going back to go to hey, state. Hey, Talk hey, about the hey, Brooklyn hey, Nets. It's my turn. Talk about I, the Brooklyn I let Nets. You spew but I don't want to hear about minutes. Golden State. I want to hear about Brooklyn. Why won't you talk about Brooklyn? You keep going back to I Golden State. I think it's state. my turn. I Golden my State turn. hierarchy had already been established. Talk about something KD built. Okay. KC or Brooklyn? Okay, it is my turn, and I'm going to go exactly where I want to go, and I'm going back to Golden State because it completely <laughs> tears down your no, argument. It makes because my argument. you say, oh, he's just playing ISO ball. He's not a leader. He went to Golden State and fit right into a beautiful basketball system because he is a beautiful basketball player. He is simply the most efficient scoring superstar we've ever seen, and it ain't even close. He, he just need just give him 14 shots again. Give him 10 shots. Give him 12 shots, and he'll still get you 30 because he can fit. 
He loved it, he embraced it, he chose it because he belonged in that system from the start. And all he did was take that system right back over the top, face LeBron in his building twice in a row, 2017 and 2018, and destroy him in his own house. He loved house it so much he in left. Cleveland. He loved it so no, much he left. He did what he set out to do, back-to-back -back <laughs> MVPs. And was he taking 30 shots a game? No, he was not. He proved to everybody that he can just be the best cog in a beautiful basketball If the season. system has already been established, mm -hmm. I'm asking you to ask Kevin Durant to go someplace else and start what has been established in Golden State. You mentioned ISO ball. You mentioned one-on-one. -on -one. You never mentioned any of the things that you're mentioning now when you picked them to win the title. At the start of the playoffs, yeah. they were favored. You didn't mention ISO ball. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was James Harden there at the end of the year? No. No, he wasn't. That's why I picked, picked him. him. That's why I picked okay, him. Okay, so why did okay, you... wait. He was replaced by, oh, yeah, Ben Simmons. Did he play in the playoffs? No, no he didn't. So what are you talking about? But, uh, okay, the... I unpicked him. Okay. No, no, you didn't. No, you, you still had them favored to win it at the beginning of the playoffs. All the arguments that you're making now, you never made when the situation presented itself back then. I can't why are you making it now? They were a wrecked basketball team. Not psychologically a wreck. wrecked. Well, you saw what happened. He's a part of the they, wreck. They lost 12 in Skip, a row. He's a part of the wreck. Oh, are you saying he's no good now? That's not, that's not okay, what well, I said. I want to know. No, I, I need no to you know. see what you do, that's what you do. See, when I got you on the run, no, are you saying he's no good? Are you saying Kevin Durant's not a great player? I, no. I think I just I'm, ran over I'm you. I'm saying he's responsible for a lot of what the negative that's going on, and you and a lot of his fanboys will not place the blame at his feet like you do LeBron. He, he's got no fanboys. LeBron's got a billion. Well, Skip, how does, he, well, how does he escape blame in this situation? Okay, all he did was last year against Milwaukee, he averaged 35, 11, and 5 against the soon-to-be NBA championship Milwaukee Bucks. And in that series in game five, you want to talk virtuoso? 49. You want to talk about game seven? Virtuoso? 48. You want to talk about one of the great clutch shots in NBA playoff history? They it's didn't toenail matter. on the line. The game's going to be over. They're it's going to go win the championship. And guess ball. what? Guess what? James Harden is a handicapped shell of himself. He's dragging his hamstring up and down the court. He can't even run. And guess who's not there? There's no Kyrie. Maybe it wasn't a coincidence that Kevin Durant was at his greatest without his best friend Kyrie Irving in that series against the soon-to-be champion Milwaukee Bucks. It was outrageously great. And then all he did was segue right into the Olympics, and he led, I'm going to underline that word, led, LED led our Olympic team to the gold medal because okay. they got in trouble again and again because you predicted the world has caught up and in some ways passed our no, U.S. No, I didn't basketball. Say, let me ask you a question. Has the world not seemingly closed the distance between where it was in 92 sure. and where it... Okay, yeah, that's no, all I got I'm it. saying. But, but every time, if you watch the games, and I think you did, every time they got in trouble, they just turned to their leader, that guy, their leader, and said, save us. Okay. That's just what, like Golden yeah, State said, save us. Yeah, and he saved that's them. That's what Brooklyn tried to do against Boston. They gave him the ball and said, save us. And okay. he shot 38%. Uh, Why couldn't he save Brooklyn? Mm. He saved the USA. Save Brooklyn. He had a terrible series just the way LeBron did in 2010 against Boston. Just the way LeBron had an epic fail in 2011 in the finals. Just the way LeBron disappeared against my Spurs in 2014. See? See? Just the way LeBron disappeared down the stretch of game six think, think, of 2013 what, against my Spurs. Think about what you just disappeared. Said. Epic fail, epic fail, think, epic think fail. Think about what you just said. Think about what you just said. You see how you label LeBron? Epic fail, epic mm. fail. You never said Kevin Durant had an epic fail. Mm. You just said he had a bad series. You see the connotation? No, you see I, how you I, use it? I, I'll give you epic fail. If that's what you want to do. You didn't give me no epic fail. Don't give me no epic fail now because I've called you to the carpet on what you say about LeBron as opposed to Kevin Durant. And my point is why Kevin Durant says all the hoopla and hullabaloo that surrounds LeBron James because you have fanboys that will not hold you accountable when things go wrong in your organization. You know why? Because Kevin Durant doesn't want to be the leader. Because the leader is going to get the blame, the majority of the blame placed at his feet. Mm. Kevin Durant gets to hide in the back. Kevin Durant wanted DeAndre Jordan. Mm. They signed him. Kevin Durant wanted LaMarcus Aldridge. He wanted Blake Griffin. He signed off on Steve Nash being the head coach. But you won't give him. But you won't say, well, damn, KD, that was the wrong guy. But had LeBron done that, all of, LeBron, you wanted Russ. Mm. Well, he wanted all those Wait guys. Wait a second.
Kevin Durant was the first one to say, uh, I am leaving Russell Westbrook, and he got annihilated for that. No, he didn't. Kevin Durant was the most criticized man in all of sports after he left he, poor little Russ back in OKC. No, 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 skip, skip, skip. Most skip. criticized man. You know it, and no, I know it. Skip. When he went to Golden State, how dare you no. join forces skip. with the That's, team? Skip, they, they, there was no criticism because he left Russ. The criticism came because oh, the team. Come on, no, you, 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 you missed let, the let boat. Me, let me, let me finish. Let me no, finish. Skip. You're wrong. Let me finish. The criticism came because the team that you had down 3-1 and won 73 games the year before, you went and linked up with them. Mm. And everybody said that's the all-time weakest move in the history of basketball. There was no criticism that he no, left Russ. But he Russ was, a was free agent. more beloved than KD was at that point. Wrongly. Skip. Wrongly okay. beloved. Skip. Skip. You cannot get upset with the fans or who they like more. You just go do your job. You would like to think, sure. We yeah, are you act like Kevin Durant was Mr. Popularity. No, he was quite no, the no, opposite. No, 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 Skip. What I'm saying is, is that what you're trying to say is that people criticize him for leaving OKC. They criticize him for leaving a team, leaving OK, joining the Golden State Warriors, the very team that he had down 3-1, the team that won 73 games that had Steph, Clay, and Draymond. That's where the criticism came from. And even that criticism, let me ask you this. Did he still receive the vitriol that LeBron James received the summer of 2010? It's close. It, the, the point is, KD's not as big as LeBron, but that was all about leaving Cleveland high and dry with, with no gratitude whatsoever because of the, the, the announcement. You know, the yeah. what was it called? The the know, decision. The decision, yeah. Mm -hmm. The big national TV decision on ESPN. That, that netted 500000 for the boys okay, and girls. Okay, I, I agree. I didn't have any problem with it whatsoever. But in his opening remarks, I'm taking my talents to South Beach, he didn't say one nice thing about those fans in Cleveland in his home area who had stood behind him for years and supported him and defended him through thick and some thin. Yeah. And that was the problem. So, yeah, they burned his jersey okay. because he okay. didn't say anything nice. I get it. And maybe it would have been nice for LeBron to acknowledge them, but he was under no obligation. When I leave a job, that doesn't mean I have to say about all the people that I work with glowing okay. things. But, but his problem was that his vitriol, his bitterness, his resentment aimed at the owner trickled down into his remarks about leaving Cleveland. And it was a bad Excuse it was me. bad PR on his part, a guy who's usually A plus at PR. But, okay, granted, but I'm talking about in this situation, what Goran Dragic is saying, why won't you give some of that same criticism? to Kevin Durant that you had this. Because see, this is what. When Kyrie Irving said LeBron or he insinuated or what you had heard through your sources that LeBron cared more about stats than winning, you went to the forefront. We did a story on it three, four days in a row. Now Gordon Dragic is saying very similar things about Kevin Durant. You're wrong. You're absolutely wrong, and I'm finna nuke your argument. I need you to give some of that to Kevin Durant, which you would have given LeBron. Okay, but it's, it's not that they're concerned about stats. It's just that he and Kyrie were the whole offense. Hold on. No, no, just, we're, it's all we're, about the two of them. Reread what Goran Dragic said. It was more the individual performances, the individuals. That's what they focused Okay, on. then. Okay, but it's just sheer iso ball. It's not about stats. It's just one guy's going to shoot it or the other guy's well, going to shoot it, I, and there's no movement. Can I, can I ask you a question? They don't run any play. When I go iso, what am I trying to do? If I go iso, what am I trying to do? Well, I'm okay. starting to score the basketball. If I'm trying to score the basketball, I'm trying to get stats. So now all of a sudden, iso don't mean scoring. Mm. Iso don't mean I'm ball hog. But it, it meant that when if James Hart plays iso ball, he plays too much iso. LeBron James, he plays too much iso. Kevin Durant doing the iso, and you got a negative word to say yet. I never said LeBron plays too much iso. Yeah, yes, you do. You I have not. I, I can't remember the time that you said something glowing about it. But now I got you trapped. I got you. Me and Goran Dragic got you in this trap, trap with your boy KD no, and you, you got don't. no way out. There is no I, I, escape. I first guessed it. I, I said... When did you first guess this? All, all year long, I said all they do is play iso ball. It's why Kevin demanded a trade. It's why we are where we are right now. Gordon Dragic just validated what Kevin Durant just asked for, a trade. Skip. He wants out of iso ball. So sure. He wants to go to somebody. He wants to go to Chris Paul. That's his first choice. Where We can get back to actually playing real basketball. No, he wants to go somewhere where, he, again, 
Chris Paul is the leader. Again, there's a culture that's already been established. But when you set out on your own and you start a business, it's easy to go work for Google. It's easy to go work for Apple. Go try to start your own company. How many rings does Chris Paul have? Help <laughs> me out. How many he does has, Devin Booker have? He has none. They have big zeros. Right. Zeros. It's CP how zero. Many, how many rings does Kevin Durant have outside of Steph Curry and Golden State? Well, A he, big fat zero. He went and won two for Steph and wrecked LeBron's and, legacy. And Steph Curry has two without him. And the one Steph Curry mm. has with the two without Steph, that Steph yeah. Curry has without Kevin Durant are worth far more than what Kevin Durant has with mm. Golden State. Did LeBron James not sign off on <laughs> Russell Westbrook? No, he recruited Russell Westbrook. So hold on. That's on LeBron's what, legacy. What, were they not? It got hold stained. On. So, so let me ask you a question. Stained so by Russell question. Westbrook. So, so, is Kevin, so Kevin Durant and Kyrie package deal to the Brooklyn Nets. Mm. A catastrophe. Is that not on his legacy? Well, it wasn't a catastrophe last year. Oh, no, they, they, they almost won the championship. They, Skip, there is no almost in sports. Uh, Either you do or you don't. Well, there you, is no you can almost. Close to no, it. you can't. If your toenails on the line, that's what separated them from a championship. Skip, you can come close if you're throwing a grenade. Yeah. You can come close if you're playing in horseshoes yeah. or you're slow dancing in the eighth grade. Yeah. But clothes doesn't matter in sports. Either you do or you don't. He did that with no Kyrie and about a half a Harden. No, 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 he no, did no, that. No. He did what? He's still the best he player lost. on the planet. I, I want you to tell me. You can't stand it. Skip. He's still the best. Skip. If he's the best player, we shouldn't be talking about almost and came close. Mm. He should have closed the deal. That's the standard that you hold LeBron to. Mm. You said if LeBron James is the best player on the planet, he has to close that deal. Kevin Durant had opportunity after opportunity to close the deal against Milwaukee, opportunity after opportunity to close the deal against Boston. He mm. didn't do it. Mm. So what's the problem? The problem is, if LeBron is really the best player on the planet, he has to win at least one playoff series two years ago, and he has to at least be better than 33 and 49 this past season and miss the play-in how many, tournament. How many, play how many series did Kevin Durant win? Mm. How many playoff series did well, Kevin Durant win? He was in the playoffs. No, 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 he, no, was he, in was, it. he was in it. He was in the playoffs. LeBron yeah. was in the playoffs last year. No, and, not, and, not, not last year. Uh, two, two years, years ago. ago. Oh, he was in it. Yeah. Okay, two years ago, your guy got beat. And by the way, he quit on his team ah. in game five. Phoenix, he walked away. No, don't do that, Skip. I got him. I got the people's champ. The people's champs are here. Uh, Say it with me, Skip. God, Lord have mercy. Look how my glasses fall to bed. Uh, <laughs> there ain't nothing like a hot summer's day in L.A. Ain't nothing like you it in the field. You guys are on fire. Oh. I hate to yeah. interrupt, but I have I'm to. Basking because in we got more to right talk now. about. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.